Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episodes 7 and 8 of my Hot Sky Girls Pretty Care. Okay, yes, it's been a hot, a long, hot behind minute since you guys last saw me with this series. Um, So, I just want to talk about that real quick. So, I know a lot of people are wondering where the heck this was for like the last what two or three months and stuff and how I was like very promising and wanting to continue this rewatch and every single time when I wanted to do it I was very tired um and such long story short your girl got burnt out like very bad and so I was overwhelmed with a lot of things and I was like well I need to put something on pause and stuff and I ultimately had decided to do both this and yes and I ultimately instead of saying anything I did not um I decided not to and so I think some people understand and some people didn't some people were probably wondering and I kept saying like there, there's gonna be a day I don't know when because I think majority of y'all kind of know in a way how this goes if and I'll say I'll use blue lock for an example because the situation happened blue lock um, a couple of weeks ago, I had to put it on pause because I was extremely busy with work and everything and I had to get that done and I did not have time to record. So out of nowhere, someone asked me if I had dropped it and I thought somebody was going to ask me or assume that I did with both this and yes, nobody asked me and such, but still at the same time, somebody in the back of their mind was like, oh, DJ must have dropped this. No, just the burnt out thing. And once again, also being busy as hell because when you are like me and sometimes you're not coming home until about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, maybe even 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, um, and you have to get the stuff that you have to get done for the day and then plus anything else, it is a lot when you only have not as much time as I used to. Um, so, yeah, it's a lot. So we're going to continue on with this. It's going to be an adventure, of course. We're going to try to finish this to the end with both this and yes. And then I think, as I said, probably going forward with this, we will continue. Um, I'm just trying to figure out if I'm going to continue with doing two Pretty Cares a series, um, per series, or if I'm going to stick with the one and then the newer series that is coming out and such. So, of course, I haven't even recorded Hidogato tonight because it's 927 and that should be out possibly within the hour, I believe. So probably by the time I get done, it should officially be out and then I also have to get that out for you guys tomorrow. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go for now and you'll see me in one second for future users. So bye for now. Alrighty, episode seven in three, two, one, go. I mean, babe, that's because they're mermaids. Mermaids. Like, the mermaid before, well, one of the mermaids before, you know, Laura, the queen, <laughs> came in. <laughs> and see, the biggest thing that I need to kind of do both with this and my Patreons series, instead of recording them all on the same day, um... Or on different days. It's like one day I should record one. Next day I should record the other. And then so on and so forth. So that I don't have to spend like two whole hours recording. Because it gets very repetitive. And so I save everything from like the weekend. Because like okay for an example. Yesterday was Friday. And I recorded Patreon stuff yesterday. Because yesterday was the only day that I could do it. Today I'm recording Pretty Care. Because today is the only day that I can do it. 
and sometimes that fucks my schedule up and so I try to record it on certain days and such like tomorrow I gotta record Blue Lock with Demon Slayer um and then also I'm watching the Xbox thing so yeah you know busy 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 girl Failing that my watch list for summer is not going to be long. It might be the shortest I've ever done. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> You don't have to hold your breath, Mirai. Go lay down. This is also why I am still advocating for one whole season of Pretty Cure to just be mermaid focused. Yes, she gave me my mermaid with Laura. Love it. 10 out of 10. But I need a boom, whole 40 minute, 40 minute, 40 something episode series. 50. You could do 50. Mermaids. Pretty Cure. It will work. Let's go. Yes, the sapphire. Oh. Well, Jesus. They trying though. Not Peter Piper, please. I couldn't do it. Oh god, not the seashell seashells by the seashore. <laughs> not like that. Rico, you know that I go work. <laughs> you know, that's just a mega mean thing to do, but not like that.
Ma'am, that's a firework. <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, they had to be, you know, cautious, duh. <laughs> Octavian. Yeah, I mean, you see she's here, so she's surviving and thriving. We almost there. We almost to all the stones. You know, wouldn't that be a little cautious to show that to them? I mean, they are outsiders. June, really. The same feel as Captado from um Star Twinkle, except like way, 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 way lower. <laughs> Is that a bad thing?
June, what you gonna do? <laughs> Stop. Be right back. Be okay. I mean, the big hint is look at all the fish running away. One thing I will say about this week's and stuff, looking at the last, like, first six. Y you need my Yeah. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. As I was trying to say. <laughs> This one's the most interesting because, yeah, you never think that seaweed and a freaking shellfish would look weird together, but it, it works. That's the same thing with Hinogato because some of the things in Hinogato with the middle of the week, you'd be like, oh, that works surprisingly. Mm. Once again, the love that these two have for each other. That's why I love this show so much. The love that all these freaking girls have for each other. And also Subasa, because we have to add him in. Okay, so while we talk about this, or watch this, let's go ahead and talk about it <laughs> got it real quick. All right, transformation sequences. Once again, top mother effing tier. Once again, now that the four, four of them are together, I better by tonight when I watch this in the next couple of hours. Hopefully, the cut for. Going from sky all the way to butterfly is good. Just 
nice and clean and then bringing it all together with, you know, the we're just standing here pose, which still I'm not mad at. It's a good pose, but the standing menacing there pose is eh, compared to when you get something as glorious as this, as Kira Kira, as Go Princess, everything. Those poses are the poses that will always be the most memorable and such. I mean, yes, the transformation sequence of Hirogato is gorgeous. And I love how the stage gives me idol vibes, but the meaningless pose hurts so freaking much. There is one more thing I do want to say on, like, the duo thing, and it also hints to Hirogato, but we'll talk about it when the episode is done. Well, yeah, I mean, it belongs to you now. Well, you know, let's just hope you ain't got to give up your voices. Do not give up your voices.
So going into the duo thing, I mean, it, it's it's heavily strong. I, I love that, you know, once again, when you look at the series overall, yes, get started with a duo. And I think because from what I remember, Mahosky was still a, an, an was it? No, I think it's more freaking um Hagato. Hagato was more in the anniversary one, and that's the same thing with Hagato. But because the duo thing is so strong in this before the trio, because you know, Bus Girl ain't coming until a while now. But you're you're getting the relationship of these two and why they are so shippable together and how they just work. And I love that about these two. That's the one reason why I love really enjoying this one, even though it is the most underrated one out of all of them. And seeing that these two, and especially with their sayers and, and all the other things that they were in together before this, that I never would have thought that those two would have been together. And then plus my third... My third, and how all three of them are in something together now, and it just pays homage to it, and you just want to cry. And the fact that these two, because they are lovers, I don't care what you tell me, they always bicker like a freaking couple. They are a couple, once again. But I'm happy. They got my second fave gem, and so now the only one that is loved is Topaz, and I think Topaz takes the longest... To get, I think. Well, at the same time, though, it does make me wonder, especially when we do get to the movie in the next, like, couple of months how they're going because see the biggest thing is because once again you know Toei Toei is being very quiet on what they're doing because their biggest focus right now is the Sailor Moon Cosmos movie um part one because I think part two is coming out next month yes don't quote me on that but yeah I think um so that is their biggest thing I, and I and I get it because they want to once again keep it on the hush hush. They don't want a lot of people to know. They don't want anything to come out. But at the same time, we're foaming at the mouth. I mean, you know, we just got Agatha finally transform into Cure Butterfly, and at the same time, I'm over here wondering, okay, so when is it going to be Elle's turn? Is it going to be by the time the movie comes out? Yada yada yada, or is it going to be by the time when this group eventually gets? their own solo movie um eventually because there are still talks where a lot of people are saying like they don't want l to become a pretty carrot just as much as in the end toei decided not to give what's her face from go princess the right to become a pretty carrot which once again we will all die on that hill saying that she should have become one instead of just being this character who is just there but she gets like a lot of character development and that's in my opinion kind of what l is getting um and such i think probably when we get to maybe what the halfway point of hirogato we'll probably talk about that a little bit more and such but i think especially when you're looking at this I, when this came out at the time this was when it was like oh, okay almost psh, everyone's gonna be a pretty care um Including the mascots, because I'll even say it now, hint, hint, nudge, nudge. If you did not know, by the end of this, Muffadoon is going to become a pretty girl because it's more or less canon only in this series, but it's not canon in the All-Star movies, which was the weirdest thing because there are times when you're sitting there watching the All-Star movies, you're kind of wondering, like, okay, well, why doesn't Peckering transform? Why doesn't Muffinum do anything and such and such? You know, why can't Hagutan, who was Cure Tomorrow, transform into Cure Tomorrow? Because they can't really talk about that because of spoilers and such. But also saying that, oh, it's not really as canon to this. But, yeah, I still enjoyed it. Like I said, Sapphire is my second fave ruby is the best still once again also can once again can we talk about the clothes situation we talked about it with um i think when they got ruby and how they always gave rico the best outfits 
or sometimes they would differ between the two, but everybody will still always say Rico has the best transformation outfits and stuff, that she she is the queen of this show uh, until Best Girl comes in. That's all I will say. Because once Best Girl comes in, that's all you're going to hear from me every single freaking episode is Best Girl, Best Girl, Best Girl, My Best Girl. My queen, my everything, and, and then you're gonna you're gonna hear me say her name every single freaking week. But still, yes, like seriously, this was just so sweet. Once again, praying to the gods that one day we get a all mermaid pretty cure as season. Who knows? I might be long gone when that happens. But you know, the inner child from me will still be happy. I mean, I was happy when Laura when we got the tropical as mermaid thing, but I would be even happier. To see where else we go. But go ahead and pause the video. And I will see you guys in one second. For episode 8. Alright episode 8. In 3, 2, 1. Go. Yeah. <laughs> That is a comma. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Well, if you look up. You know what I just realized in that moment? <laughs> Me and I literally getting on the broom and just going, once again, a very mega mean thing to do. And then we go being like, wait, you don't know how to fly? That is a whiz thing to do. My babies. Always. Always fighting each other. No matter what universe, oh my god, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> that just also makes me excited for this week's Kanesuba because it's... It, it is... <laughs> all it is, it's just gonna be another random moment between fucking, um... <laughs> Megami and the girl from the cult group <laughs> who is just fucking, um... It is a uh, Manasu Secure Summer. <laughs> I'm sorry.
Well, I mean, why else do you think they're going to be here? I honestly do not remember this episode. <laughs> Yeah, even with the preview, I do not remember this episode at all. Once again, married. Mm -hmm. oh, there's the Pegasus. Now just imagine Megan and me saying that the first time she did her explosion. Literally out of the atmosphere. Once again, at least they're together. They're not separated. Sure. R Rico, you know what? Once again, I will always say for you, baby, it is always according to plan. Always according to plan for Rico, even if it's not. Oh. 
Mother? Who relax in my opinion, but I mean, I get it. it. Smells good. Even though I can't smell it. I help the Pegasus. Oh, the sunflower! Well, the, yeah, flower. But it's a start.
my thing is, okay, since we're doing Unicorn S, what the heck is going to be the freaking uh, uh, Lincoln Stone that they're going to use, though? Uh, of course, regular diamond. That was always the best thing about this. It was always trying to figure out for which situation, which stone was the best to use. So sometimes, like, mm. Did we ever get a stone, like, two weeks in a row? I, I don't remember. <laughs> I mean, you know, of course they had, like, I, somebody had to keep count of how many times diamond, ruby, sapphire, and topaz was all being used for the entirety of the series. But, hey, just like that one person who made the, um, the list of episodes from beginning all the way nuts you have a lot of time and dedication I, and i truly applaud you one other thing i will say when you look you know look at the like okay look at the, the brooches they don't have their logo on theirs there's just little, the gems, that's it. Look at any other outfit that they've used as of right now, including Topaz, even though they don't have Topaz yet. They don't have the emblem that the Go Princess girls or um, Kira Kira or any of the other girls that have now currently with theirs. Once again, Mary, girlfriends, wives, just the, the look that they give each other, it's too much. Now that just straight up gives you like what cure flora vibes. <laughs>
Seriously, the cutest thing ever. One day. One more. Remember, we don't look at it as the end. We look at it as the beginning or a see you later. Because we know it's not happening. That's the thing. And I think, you know, probably maybe when people were watching this episode on Twitter and commenting at the end of this, they'd be like, hey, yo, are they actually? Because, okay, no, no, no. Because, okay, connecting it to uh, Hirogato. So, you know how, like, when, before Butterfly came in, how Sora, Mahiro, Machiro, and Subasa had to go back to um, the kingdom, right? Skyland. And the biggest thing was Ma uh, Machiro couldn't go because, you know, hey, she's got school. She's still human. Da -da -da -da. So we spent like two whole episodes at Skyland or like at least three to just see more interactions of Tsubasa and Sky with, you know, the people who they cared about and then, you know, things happened and eventually they came back home. And so that's what you're going to kind of get for this series as well because you're you're spending seven to eight episodes. Well, no, I'll ch change that. You spend like the first episode in the, the world, the regular world, the world of the humans, and then you go back to the magic realm for several episodes, episode eight, and then I think they go back after 10? I don't remember. And also the screaming flower testing moment. <laughs> and I mean, yeah, I think at that moment, I think when I saw that preview, like, I cried. I was just like, look, you're giving us the moments of them possibly being separated. I was like, how are they going to do this? Because they they have to be together 24-7. And that's the same thing with the current group of Hinogato. They have to be together 24-7. And separating them isn't the best. I mean, even Delicious wanted to do an episode on that where one of them was going to go move back. Uh, Chi... Chi? Chi or Chihiro? I, I get confused on the names. You know, after a year, I barely remember everybody's names. Spicy. Um, <laughs> Spicy's parents wanted her to go somewhere, uh, go and live in a different country with her. And then it's like, how is she going to be able to do pretty good things when she's not going to be living in the same town as everybody? That's a little awkward. And so in the end, yeah, she didn't leave. And so when you look at, I think at that time when we were watching this all those years ago, which is still like at least what, four or five years, no, six years ago, five to six, maybe even seven years ago. Um, at the time you're like, oh, this ain't good what are we going to do? Like, how is this going to go? But when you know what is going to happen next and you're doing it as a rewatch, it it is still a heartbreaking moment. It gives you the feels of when you do end a Pretty Cure series and you're moving on to the next one. You're just like, dang, like, we're not going to see these girls again. Like, yeah, you have the movies, but it's not the same when you have a whole year of it. And that's why I truly, the series will always be lovable and timeless to me because of the fact is, yes, even though 
I, I love these characters for a whole freaking year because you get to see them for a whole year. I do miss previous generations. And the fact is that, you know, I, I always loved when we got to get an all-star movie. And, you know, the last all-star movie we had was... Where it was all living together was Mahot's guy. After that, we got the thing of what Toei is okay with, which is just having the most recent groups up until now. And so I, I love the fact that, you know, we're commemorating that and celebrating that with the fact because it would have been really weird going into this anniversary where it's just like, okay, here's the most three recent groups together in a movie together. I mean, yes, they could still do that, but I would rather. Um, and I think a lot of us would rather them just have every single cure back. But, you know, I, I've talked about it once and I'll say it again. With the money issue and time and having to pay segues for even just a little small moment. It's still a lot of money. Um, and there's a lot of things that you have to do from the span of whenever the project starts all the way up to when the project is officially golden. And it's a lot of things to do. But, I mean, yeah, I'm still excited for this and I cannot wait to see the movie whenever the heck that's going to come. September, you, you come, please. But, yes, like, seriously, once again, reading that, like, title card for the for the next two episodes, for, for episode nine, my bad, not ten, um, truly hurts because you just like how <laughs> truly how but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode seven and eight of my host guy girls pretty here if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next sunday for episodes nine and ten but until then i will see you guys all next time but once again thank you guys for waiting so freaking patiently hopefully we can get this done very very quickly and soon as possible but like i said until then i will see you guys all next time bye